I just wanted to show this to people because there's a really popular like hokey EMF meter that's sold on Amazon or online. And a lot of people that are selling pendants and crystals and organite and shungite and all these things, they use this meter to show that their product works, but it's measuring electric fields. So the electronic device that I'm using is a broadband hub. Oh, you can pause so it for a second. I'm just going to put else. this on. <laughs> So she's using a Wi-Fi router to measure this, and this meter measures electric fields. She doesn't know this. She just thinks it's an electromagnetic radiation detector like it, mm. like it says. But uh, a Wi-Fi router also has electric fields because it's plugged into the wall. And so she's definitely going to get a reading with this, but it has nothing to do with the fact that it's Wi-Fi. It could be any electronic device that she's measuring right now. And she's going to like be testing these different crystals and everything to show how they block EMF. But uh, watch, th thinking about this, like her body's not grounded, what is she actually measuring? Because we're measuring voltage potentials, the difference in potential between where this person's body is at that's holding the meter and where they're testing. So, um, and and where that antenna is, it's like right on the, the other side of the, of the meter. So let's keep watching and We'll kind of dissect this as we go. And measure it now. So, as you can see, we're getting high signals of about 1200 right on top of it and about 500, about a few inches away. So, will black tourmaline affects this. So black tourmaline is supposed to be, um, one of the crystals is supposed to block. So you can see it is about 500 where it is, completely blocks it. <laughs> completely blocks it. And it also has an effect when it's quite near as well. So if I take it right away, you can see it goes back up. Okay, you can pause yeah. it again. So what she doesn't realize is that she could put that rock down and put her hand right in front of the meter and she's just now m measuring herself. Her, she's, me she's holding the meter measuring her own body's potential. So every time she brings her hand in front of that meter, she's not measuring the electric, the difference in voltage potential between the Wi-Fi router and her body. She's measuring the difference between her body and her body. So every time her hand goes in front of that meter, the reading is going to go down to zero, whether she has a rock in it or not. And it's, and, and she, and she doesn't realize this, you know, some, so I think some people in the comments had pointed something out to that effect, but um, there's a lot of people who are selling something and they get an EMF meter and they start playing around with it. And then they discover something like this and there's totally a scientific explanation for it and a reason that it's happening, but they don't understand it. And so they just jump to conclusions like, oh, these rocks, they block the EMF really well. And she's thinking that it's blocking the Wi-Fi because she's measuring a Wi-Fi router, but she's using an electric field meter to measure the Wi-Fi router. And then she's testing it completely wrong. So um, this is just one example. There's lots of these on YouTube. Can we just stop sharing? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, it's a perfect example of how not to test. <laughs> we should have started the masterclass with that, right? It's a, it, it can create a lot of confusion. Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, Pino. I am the co-creator of the EMF circle, along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our circle members. Every month we have a masterclass like one of these 
or a Q&A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a Cars mask Masterclass. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.